So abortion is illegal in the state of Arizona, which is great news. I am thrilled. This, the Arizona Supreme Court ruling is absolutely right, and it is a good thing. On the one hand, President Trump is rightly taking credit for getting Roe v. Wade overruled, which is great. He's the guy who did it. George Bush didn't do it. Mitt Romney and John McCain didn't do it. They didn't even get elected. Ronald Reagan didn't do it. Bush Sr. didn't do it. Donald Trump did it. He gets the credit for it. I guess Michael Knowles is thinking, we're insanely out of touch on abortion rights, and since voters are seeing through our desperate attempts to act like we're not, let's just embrace what our Lord and Savior Donald Trump did. Only problem is that Trump didn't get that talking point. Mr. President, did Arizona go too far? Did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And as you know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason, and that will be taken care of, I think, very quickly. What do you think about Florida? Uh, Florida's Florida is probably maybe going to change also. See, it's all about the, the will of the people. This is what I've been saying. It's a perfect system. Do you think a doctor should be punished who perform abortions? Uh, I'll let that be to the states. You know, everything we're doing now is states and states' rights. And what we wanted to do is get it back to the states because for 53 years it's been a fight. Nobody passes the buck faster than Trump, who wasn't celebrating states' rights to eliminate people's reproductive rights. When Roe was overturned, he was celebrating himself, thinking the victory would energize the pro-life crowd that he was pandering to. But now that he finally learned that Americans' desire to make their own decisions about their lives is something that they're willing to fight for, it's all Arizona's fault despite the fact that these states publicly announced that they had anti-choice bills ready to go. All they needed was a Supreme Court just as out of touch as they were to unleash them. So we've gone from states' rights to states are going to fix it, with no mention of the state legislators breaking it in the first place. What happened to their rights? Under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, and healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. What could be more beautiful or better than that? Today, I'm pleased that the Alabama legislature has acted very quickly and passed legislation that preserves the availability of IVF in Alabama. They really did a great and fast job. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Now it's up to the states to do the right thing. Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. He already backpelled on states' rights argument when Alabama outlawed IVF treatments. But he was somehow caught off guard after Arizona enjoyed their Republican majority's decision to run the state like it's 1864 when Arizona wasn't even a state. It's like the GOP knows less about themselves than anyone else knows about them. This total ban on abortion that the Arizona Supreme Court just ruled on is out of line with where the people of this state are. The issue is less about banning abortion and more about saving babies. I agree with President Trump. This is such a personal and private issue. I chose life, but I'm not every woman. I want to make sure that every woman who finds herself pregnant has more choices so that she can make that choice that I made. It's natural for women to be nervous and anxious when they're pregnant. I never would ever assume that any woman had the same exact feelings I had or situation I had. We know that some women are economically in a horrible situation. They might be in an abusive relationship. They might be the victim of rape. I agree with President Trump. We must have exceptions for rape, incest, we, as American people, don't agree on everything all of the time. But if you look at where the population is on this, a full ban on abortion is not where the people are. The issue is less about banning abortion and more about saving babies. And we can do that. So now that Carrie Lake sees her chances of winning that Senate seat in Arizona being knocked down by her party's well-documented stance 
against abortion rights, she suddenly feels for women that are in abusive relationships, that are dealing with financial hardships, have been assaulted, or whose lives are in danger. All these things proponents of abortion access have been telling them for years, but the response was different when they were plugging their ears and closing their eyes over it. My personal belief is that all life matters, all life counts, and all life is precious, and I don't believe in abortion. I think the older law is going to, take a, an, is going to go into effect. That's what I believe will happen. Okay, but, and, but you approve of that, uh, uh, what, at, at conception? I believe life begins at conception. Okay, what do we do about abortion pills? What do we do about... I don't uh, think abortion pills should be legal. That's it, a very Not in thing. Arizona. It's almost like they only gave a damn about abortion when they thought it was a political winner for them. But now that they've realized for the first time that they don't represent the hearts and minds of most Americans, they can't blame the devil-worshipping Democrats for advocating in favor of freedom. But they can claim that this problem that they created and cultivated isn't theirs to solve. There's just no end to politicizing this issue as something Democrats are responsible for. The people on the left are so de desperate, attacking Trump now for an Arizona Supreme Court ruling that upholds what is a Civil War era law banning abortion. This will be fixed in the next week or two. Let not your heart be troubled. I can, I can pretty much assure that that will happen. Trump opposes the law and this ruling, or you can believe Joe's make pretend Donald Trump that doesn't exist. And you know what? Arizona's governor is a Democrat. The state's attorney general is a Democrat. The state legislature is almost evenly divided. If Democrats, you want to get rid of the law, well, you have a chance right now to get rid of it. And I would advise you, get rid of it. They would rather use it as a political tool ahead of November. Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, everyone, we have to work together. We have to bring our nation back from the brink, and that's where it is. It's at the brink. We knew that when this issue was sent back to the states, there would be debate, there would be argument, there would be teeth gnashing, but we're gonna get through this. We are Americans. Heck, we're Arizonans. We're some of the toughest people out there. We're gonna work through this, and on the other side, we're gonna come out much better for it. They want this issue to bring down our country. They want Americans at each other's throats. And this issue has the ability to bring down our country or help save our country. And I want to help save our country. So now Trump says we all have to work together to remedy these problems in these states that he knew would implement 19th century level laws against reproductive rights. Carrie Lake is vehemently against them trying to divide us and have Americans at each other's throats. I just can't figure out why she didn't feel that way when her party was calling women whores and sluts and dismissing assaults on 10 year old girls that had to flee their state to board the fetus of their attacker. But Sean Hannity's declaration that Arizona Democrats need to get rid of the law without pointing out who ushered in that law might be the most egregious. He definitely didn't mention that Democrats in the state already tried that, only to get rejected by those Republican legislators that still control their Congress, despite how it's almost evenly divided. Arizona Democrats were fussing at their Republican colleagues for blocking their attempts to fix it the way that Trump, Lake, and Hannity told them that they should. But since these guys never even mentioned Republicans' role in putting this out there in the first place, why would the out-of-touch legislators take any responsibility and eliminate their victory against reproductive rights? State Senator Hernandez posted this. If you weren't watching today, the Arizona Senate GOP refused to recognize me, to speak on the floor, and refused to allow me to make a motion to repeal the territorial abortion ban in Arizona. By their actions, the message from this chamber is that they are so pro-life, they will kill you. So now with the brand new information that Americans don't want their reproductive rights taken away, Trump still has to deal with evangelical anti-choice groups that are now turning on him, saying that he can no longer call himself pro-life, and that he can't simply leave it up to the states because the federal government is already deeply involved in abortion access, like the FDA regulation of abortion pills and funding for Planned Parenthood. So they still want him to ban abortion access at the federal level. His opponents can see how he moves only to help himself, but his voters are left wondering which version of Trump is the real one. I am pro-choice, but I respect the views of those who are not. I believe that this is a very personal decision that must be left to women and their doctors, not to the politicians. I'm, I'm very pro-choice. I hate the concept of abortion. I hate it. 
I hate everything it stands for. I cringe when I listen to people debating the subject. But you still, I just believe in choice. Do you believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. For 54 years, they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it. And I'm proud to have done it. They wanted to get it back, right? You wouldn't be have that. There would be no question. Nobody else was going to get that done but that, me. Yeah. And we did it. Mr. President, did Arizona go too far? Did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. And as you know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. And I'm sure that the governor and everybody else are going to bring it back into reason. 